Hi, my name is Erica. Welcome to Simply Beats Kid of the Month Club. Today, we will be working on Earring Extravaganza. This video is meant to be a supplement to your leaflet and not a replacement. For full instructions, please refer to your leaflet. These earrings are all different in looks and techniques, with their ease of assembly being their common thread, or link. Refer to your leaflet for your bead key that will identify all of the beads and findings in your kit. For faceted ice, you will need two faceted pillow beads, two hammered links, two silver head pins, and two silver ear wires. First, string a faceted pillow bead onto a head pin. Create a simple loop, forming a dangle. Two. Open the loop on the top of the pillow dangle and attach a hammered link. 3. Attach an ear wire to the opposite side of the hammered link. 4. Repeat these steps 1 through 3 for creating the second earring. For Becou de Facette, you will need 2 faceted crystal rondelles, 4 faceted twist crystals, four antique gold eye pins, two antique gold head pins, and two antique gold ear wires. First, string a faceted twist crystal onto a head pin. Create a simple loop forming a dangle. Second, string a faceted crystal rondelle onto an eye pin. Create a simple loop, creating a link. Third, string a faceted twist crystal onto an eye pin. Create a simple loop, forming a link. Fourth, Attach a faceted twist crystal dangle to a faceted crystal rondelle link. Attach a faceted crystal link to the opposite loop of the faceted crystal rondelle link. Fifth, attach an ear wire to the remaining loop of the 9 by 7 millimeter faceted twist crystal link. Six. Repeat steps 1 through 5 for your second earring. For platinum and red, you will need 2 warped round metal discs, 6 red coral chips, 6 4mm daisy spacers, 4 stacked spacers, 2 silver eye pins, 6 silver head pins, and 2 silver ear wires. First, string a daisy spacer and a chip onto a head pin. Create a simple loop, forming a dangle. Repeat twice for a total of three dangles. Second, string a stacked spacer. A warped round metal disc and another stacked spacer onto an eye pin. Create a simple loop, forming a link. Three, attach the red coral bead dangles to one loop of the warped round metal disc link. Fourth, attach an ear wire to the opposite loop on the warped round metal disc. Fifth, repeat steps one through four for your second earring. For drops of elegance, you will need two pink, two clear, and two gray 4mm bicone crystals, two 10mm crystal pearls, six silver eye pins, two silver head pins, two silver ear wires. In step one, you create three links, one with each color of crystal. An important thing to note is that you want your loops to run opposite on each end. One will run east and west, one will run north and south. This will help your chain hang straight. For step two, string your crystal pearl onto a head pin and create a simple loop forming a dangle. Third, attach links to each other in desired order.
Fourth, attach crystal pearl dangle to bottom link. Fifth, attach an ear wire to the opposite end of links. Sixth, repeat these steps for your second earring. For amethyst swings, you will need amethyst chips, four silver eye pins, two silver ear wires, and two by four millimeter rectangular chain. First, string five small chips onto an eye pin. Create a simple loop forming a link. Second, string 10 chips onto an eye pin. Create a simple loop forming a link. Third, cut two lengths of chain, each five links long. Cut two lengths of chain, each eight links long. Fourth, open the loop on each end of the links. Fifth, string a five link chain onto both ends of a five chip link. Close loops, creating swing A. Six, string an eight link chain onto both ends of the ten chip link. Close loops, creating swing B. Seventh, open loop on ear wire. String the ends of the chain in the following order. First, string one end of swing B. Then, string both ends of swing A. And the remaining end of swing B. Close the loop. Note, it may seem tight with all of the chain in the ear wire loop, but it can be closed. Eighth. Gently squeeze the ends of the eye pins over your fingers to create a curve. 9. Repeat steps 1 through 8 for your second earring. Thank you for beating with me today, and I hope you enjoyed Earring Extravaganza.